بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس دی کورس وچ آئی ہیو اسائنڈ از اینیمل ڈائیورسٹی اینڈ اٹس کورس کوڈ از زولوجی 2113 مائی سیلف میمونا جاوید فرام یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن ڈی جی خان کیمپس دس کورس از آف فور ٹرائی ٹاورس تھری تھیوری اینڈ ون پریکٹیکل lecture number two today i will discuss with you the gas exchange in birds how bird exchange gases uh, birds have respiratory system it has very complex and efficient respiratory system uh, different respiratory structures are present here and uh, i will discuss it with you one by one Uh, first structure is external nares and pharynx second one is voice box or syrinx third one is air sacs fourth one is lungs fifth one is parabronchi and last one is air capillaries first of all i will discuss with you external nares and pharynx external nares leads to nasal passage and pharynx bones and cartilage supports trachea second hai hamare paas voice box or syrinx syrinx is a special voice box present where trachea divides into parabronchi sorry bronchi it produces bird vocalization so سائرنگ جو ہے ووکل کارڈ ووکل آرگن بھی ہے برڈ کا لوکیٹڈ ایٹ دا بیس آف برڈ ٹریکیا اٹ پروڈیوس ساؤنڈ ود آؤٹ ووکل فالڈ آف میمس سائرنگس آلسو انیبلس سم اسپیشی آف برڈس ٹو میمک ہیومن اسپیچ ایز ویل لائک پیرٹ اکرو میناس third one air sac parabronchi leads to air sac sac extended into some bones of skeletal system uh, air sac uh, just like a pocket like structure it is nine in numbers uh, and it is present in the bones of the birds lungs air sacs and uh, bronchi connects to the lungs last one air capillaries air capillaries about 10 mm diameter branch from parabronchi helps in gas exchange it helps in gas exchange uh, means to birds hain uh, wo inhi air capillaries jo hain wo which the supplied hoti hain blood se aur isi se hi gas exchange uh, mumkin ho pati hai uh, causes of inspiration and expiration Uh, inspiration and expiration is due to increasing and decreasing the volume of thorax and from alternate expansion compression of air sac during flight and other activities when breathing sternum and posterior ribs compresses the thoracic air sac a respiratory mechanism during inspiration air moves into abdominal air sac air which is present in lungs move to parabronchi into the thoracic air sac this is inspiration one inspiration one first of all a birds have parabronchi air passes above it and it is richly supplied with blood capillaries when air passes and blood which is present in the capillaries it mixes with oxygen it grabs oxygen blood flow is always in opposite direction uh, why it is in always in opposite direction because for the maximum absorption of oxygen uh, in the uh, which is helpful for the gaseous exchange when bird inhale air through mouth uh, the air sac fill with air air sac helps to take air into the air sac bird have unidirectional air flow first air is present in the air sac then it goes to the lungs through lungs it passes through the air sac and then it comes out through the trachea
in the process of inspiration or inhalation air comes through trachea and then comes into the posterior air sac air which is present in the environment and the air which is present in lungs it goes to anterior air sac which is breathe one of inhalation inspiration cycle one is completed then during expiration uh, air moves out of respiratory system air in the abdominal air sac moves into the parabronchi this is expiration or cycle two air of anterior air sac comes out and air of posterior air sac comes into the lungs it is breathe one cycle one in second breath lungs air comes in and through anterior air sac it goes to outside through trachea and new air comes and new air comes the respiratory tract the air which is new it covers the respiratory tract you can easily see uh, the picture uh, in first in inhalation what process is done i have discussed with you in detail uh, on exhalation what is done with the second inhalation and the second exhalation first inhalation air flow through the trachea and bronchi primarily into the posterior air sac on exhalation air moves from the posterior air sac into the lungs air sac se lungs mein chali jati hai with the second inhalation air moves from the lungs into the anterior air sac air jo hai uh, lungs se move hoti hai aur anterior air sac ke andar dakhil hoti hai with the second exhalation air moves from the anterior air sac back into the trachea and then comes out uh, trachea ke andar aa jati hai aur wahan se bahar chali jati hai at next inspiration air moves into the thoracic air sac inspiration cycle 2 it is expired during next expiration and takes two ventilatory cycles to move particular volume of air through respiratory system expiration cycle 2 uh, what do you mean by oxygen consumption rate Uh, birds have higher metabolic rate uh, thus having greater oxygen consumption than other vertebrate uh, as i have discussed with you birds have a uh, very good and excellent respiratory system uh, they have high metabolic rates and uh, their lifestyle is athletic athletic lifestyle so uh, just like uh, any other vertebrate Uh, as we compared with other vertebrates birds uh, have higher metabolic rate and a lifestyle is athletic birds have higher metabolic rate thus jo hai oxygen consumption bhi dusre vertebrate ke muqable mein birds ke andar zyada dekhi jati hai dead air in lungs because of unique system of air sac and parabronchi birds continuously move oxygen rich air over respiratory surface during expiration and inspiration quantity of dead air in the lungs is reduced as compared with the other vertebrates dusre vertebrate ke muqable mein jo hai dead air jo lungs mein hoti hai wo birds ke andar kam jo hai maujood hoti hai dusre vertebrate ke muqable mein comparison of gas exchange in birds and other tetrapods Uh, birds have greater rate of oxygen consumption due to high metabolic rate because they have athletic lifestyle they have very uh, uh, showy so they have high metabolic rate tetrapods have comparatively lesser metabolic rate um, we are comparing with uh, tetrapods uh, so first point uh, i will discuss uh, of birds and uh, then i will discuss with tetrapods birds have one way flow of gases ventilation do not take place during expiration so expiration ke waqt jo hai ventilation jo hai uh, wo nahi hoti uh, respiratory system of tetrapod is simple back and forth cycle uh, tetrapods mein simple aage aur piche ki taraf jo hai wo uh, saans ka jana hota hai aur is tarah se unki respiration hoti birds have parabronchi uh, in tetrapods parabronchi are absent 
alveoli uh, present in birds and absent in tetrapods due to parabronchi and air sac continuous movement of oxygen rich air during inspiration and expiration but in tetrapods uh, dead remains in dead air remains in lungs tetrapods mein uh, dead air ki jo dead air ki jo amount hai wo zyada hoti hai uh, as compared to uh, birds mein because birds have a uh, richly supplied air sac so they have less amount of oxygen uh, dead air in lungs respiratory system is efficient in birds having higher metabolic rate but in other tetrapods respiratory system is not much efficient dusre tetrapods mein they do not have much efficient uh, respiratory system but in birds a uh, very efficient respiratory system is seen next topic which i will discuss with you it this is temperature regulation in birds how birds regulate their temperature temperature regulation birds maintain body temperature between 38 and 45 degrees A lethal extremes are lower than 32 and higher than 47 degree if temperature is above 47 degree it is lethal for the birds if it is uh, below 32 uh, it is also lethal so it should be maintained between 38 and 45 degree uh, for the uh, maximum uh, uh, good efficiency maintenance of temperature in cold Uh, how birds uh, maintain their temperature in cold uh, first point i will discuss with you is fluffing feather uh, on cold day birds uh, fluff its feather to increase insulating properties as well as shed air space within them second point a uh, tucking bill into feathers feathers ke andar apni bills ko chupa lena birds uh, tuck their bill into feather it reduces heat loss from respiratory tract uh, respiratory tract the tract where birds exchange uh, gases so uh, birds tuck their bills into their feathers third one is counter current uh, heat exchange birds feet and tarsi are more exposed uh, they are very exposed parts uh, feet and tarsi these parts do not have richly blood supply uh, not uh, it is richly supplied with blood uh, capillaries temperature in these parts drop near freezing so temperature in these parts are uh, near freezing for prevent of heat loss a uh, counter current between warm blood flowing to the legs and feet and cooler blood flowing to the body core from legs and feet uh, this mechanism is very efficient uh, it is also seen in different whales uh, marine mammals uh, it prevent excess heat loss at feet uh, as you can see in the picture there is a cross uh, current exchange a uh, show uh, unidirectional air flow hai पैरा ब्रॉन्कस मौजूद हैं ब्लड फ्लो एट द नाइन्टी डिग्री टू द एयर फ्लो यू कैन सी हेयर पलमोनरी आर्ट्री एंड पलमोनरी वेन विच आर हेल्पफुल इन द काउंटर करंट गैस एक्सचेंज थर्ड पॉइंट इज शिवरिंग शिवरिंग जनरेट हीट इन कोल्ड वन वे टू प्रोड्यूस मेटाबॉलिक हीट थ्रू मसल कंट्रेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन इन कोल्ड shivering increases a muscle activity and thus boost heat production increase in metabolism increase in metabolism require additional food so uh, when birds uh, n- have higher metabolic rate uh, it also requires additional food additional food is their requirement for the uh, higher metabolism torpid uh, torpid condition uh, some birds become torpid drop their body temperature on cool night what is torpid torpid is a unmoving or dormant or you can say hibernating stage uh, birds become lazy they become lethargic in this period Uh, I will discuss with you some example of torpid uh, will uh, whip poor will 
it allow body temperature to drop uh, from about 40 degrees to near 16 degree respiratory rate becomes slow maintenance of temperature in hot how birds maintain their temperature in hot uh, i will discuss first how birds maintain their temperature in cold uh, now i will discuss with you how birds temperature in hot maintenance kaise ki jati hai jab temperature jo hai hot hota hai first point uh, painting muscular activity during flight increases heat what is painting painting means a breathing with short quick breaths or you can say out of breath birds dissipate heat by painting evaporative heat loss from floor of mouth is called painting now i will discuss with you nervous and sensory system of birds first one nervous system or brain there are different parts of brain in the birds fore brain mid brain hind brain fore brain fore brain have a larger hemisphere fore brain is much larger than of reptiles due to enlarged cerebellar hemisphere and corpus striatum so uh, we will compare it with reptiles birds is comparing with reptiles fore brain in birds it is much larger uh, due to cerebellar hemisphere and corpus striatum but in birds it is not much larger role corpus striatum function in visual learning feeding courtship and nesting pineal body it is present on the roof of the brain a role stimulates ovarian development it regulates function induced or influenced influenced by light and dark periods second one is a midbrain in midbrain we will discuss with you optic tactum optic tactum along with corpus striatum play play role in integrating sensory functions what do you mean by sensory functions uh, sensory functions uh, consist of uh, sensory receptors neural pathways and the part of brain which is involved in sensory perceptions different sensory systems uh, i will discuss with you first one is hearing somatic sensation or you can say touch taste olfaction mid brain receives sensory input from eyes hind brain hind brain includes a cerebellum and medulla oblongata role uh, what is its role it coordinates motor activities it regulates heart and respiratory rates vision what is vision to see the objects vision is important for most birds eyes bird eyes is similar to other vertebrates it is much larger relative to the body size than other vertebrate now we will compare uh, the eye of bird to other vertebrate uh, here it is says that a uh, bird's eye is relatively much larger as compared to its body size but in other vertebrates Uh, their eyes are short as compared to their body sizes eyes are flattened in anterior posterior direction uh, what do you mean by anterior posterior uh, anterior posterior is relating towards both front and back eyes of birds of prey protrude anteriorly because of bulging uh, cornea uh, different birds of prey are present uh, Uh, so their eyes the structure of their eyes is they protrude uh, anteriorly kuch ubhri hui aankh kehte hain protruding ko because of bulging cornea unka jo cornea hota hai wo bahar ki taraf nikla hua hota hai focusing mechanism birds have unique uh, double focusing mechanism pad like structure similar to reptiles control lens so birds have pad like structure 
called pectin. Pectin controls the curvature of lens and ciliary muscle. It also changes the curvature of cornea. Uh, birds also have nictating membrane. What is nictating membrane? Uh, nictating membrane draws over the eyeball to cleanse and protect the eye. Ciliary muscle change curvature of cornea. Osprey. What is osprey? Osprey is a fish eating hawk. Uh, osprey is uh, distributed. Its geographical range is it is distributed worldwide. Uh, structure kaisa hai? Long wings. White head with a dark strip around eyes. Eyes ke gear jo hai? Dark jo hai? Wo strips hain. Aur head kis color ka hai? It is white in color. Rods and cones. Retina of bird eyes is thick. Contain both rods and cones. Uh, rods active in daylight. Cones active in high light intensity. Cones concentrated at focal point called fovea. Some birds have two fovea per eye. Uh, here is the osprey. You can see its picture. What is search fovea? Fovea at the center of retina is called search fovea. It gives bird wide range of monocular vision. Then second is pursuit fovea. I will discuss first what is fovea. Fovea is the thinner and uh, highly packed with cones than the rest of the retina. Second, fovea is located near the back of the eye and it receives image uh, from in front of bird creating binocular vision. Posterior fovea is called pursuit fovea. Binocular vision produces a depth perception necessary to capture prey. Now I will discuss with you the position of the eye. Position of the eye is also plays an important role in the vision of the bird. Position of the eye on head influences a degree of binocular vision. Pigeons, pigeon's eye present back on the side of the head. Now different birds have different uh, uh, position of their eyes on the head. Not all the birds have same position of eyes on the head. Uh, for example, pigeons uh, eyes are present the side of the head. Uh, next, it gives them 360 degree monocular field and no narrow binocular field. They do not have to pursue their food. I will discuss with you some of the advantages Monocular field of view helps stay alert to predators when feeding on grounds. Means when you feed on the ground, monocular vision is very important for predators. Hawks and owls. Eyes forward on the head. Hawks eye and owl eye, its position it is present on the forward on the head. It increases binocular vision and decreases monocular vision. Nictating membrane. I will discuss its function um, before. Uh, it helps to cleanse and protect the eye. Birds also have nictating membrane like reptiles and reptiles. Uh, they also have nictating membrane in birds. They also have nictating membrane. Birds, it is present on the surface of the eye. Its function is to clean and protect the eye. Monocular vision you can see in the picture and binocular vision is also seen. Uh, first of all I will discuss uh, a slightly uh, difference between these two. Monocular vision area seen with right eye and it will seen with left eye but binocular vision area seen with both eyes. In monocular seen with one eye while on the other hand binocular seen with the both eyes. Next point olfaction. 
ऑल फैक्शन प्ले इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन लाइफ ऑफ बर्ड्स वट इज ऑल फैक्शन सुनने की हिस्को कहते हैं एक्सटर्नल नेयर्स ओपन एट द बेस ऑफ द बीक ऑल फैक्ट्री एपिथीलियम इज पुअरली डिवेलप्ड टर्की वल्चर्स लोकेट डेड एंड डाइंग प्रे बाई स्मेल टर्की वल्चर इज अ लार्ज स्केवेंजिंग स्पीशी इट हैज एक्सपेंशन ऑफ ऑल फैक्ट्री बर्ब ऑफ द ब्रेन हियरिंग सुनने की सलाहियत हाउ दे कैन हेयर एयर लोकेटेड स्लाइटली बिहाइंड एंड बिलो द आइस एंड आर कवर्ड विद सॉफ्ट फैदर्स द सॉफ्ट फैदर्स वी कैन कॉल्ड इट आरिकुलर्स फॉर प्रोटेक्शन शेप ऑफ बर्ड्स हैड ऑल्सो अफेक्ट द हेयरिंग आउल्स फेशियल डिस्क हेल्प टू डायरेक्ट साउंड टूवर्ड्स द एयर बर्ड्स हैव वेल डिवेलप्ड हेयरिंग दे हैव डेलीकेट फैदर्स कार्ड आरिकुलर्स कवर एक्सटर्नल एयर ओपनिंग मिडल एंड इनर एयर स्ट्रक्चर सिमिलर टू द रेप्टाइल्स नाउ आई विल डिस्कस द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ एवियन एयर विद द ह्यूमन एयर सो देयर सेंसिटिविटी इज सिमिलर टू द ह्यूमन एयर एवियन एयर सेंसिटिविटी इज हंड्रेड टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड हर्ट्स वाइल इन ह्यूमन सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड हर्ट्स जो है साउंड दे कैन हेयर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग